مرحبا بكم في الجزائر اهلا وسهلا هلا هلا فاينلي هاو ار يو اتس بوك هير ايفريبادي ويلكم هير تو بيوتيفول كافتايا It's only my first day and I'm just blown away by the hospitality, the kindness and the warmth of the people. Hello Masahlan everybody, welcome here to beautiful Beirut, Lebanon. Today I'm just about to embark on a journey I've been wanting to do for so many years. Inshallah, I'm on my way to Algeria, but as you can see a huge thunderstorm has just rolled in to the city. I'm on my way to the airport now, it's currently 2.30 a.m. Inshallah, my flight will leave on time. Inshallah, I have no difficulties with the visa. And inshallah, we'll make it to the airport uh, in one piece. Let's go. Okay, I've just made it here inside the taxi while on our way to the airport. Hello, what's up there? Hello, hello. Keep on. Tamam, tamam. Good, alhamdulillah. Good, good, good. Uh, the storm is crazy. Is is me? My name is Tari. Tari? Yes. Nice to meet you. Now yeah, look at this. Welcome, sir. Shukran, shukran. <laughs> So what possibly was the craziest, happiest, wildest Uber driver I've ever had here in Lebanon. Alhamdulillah, I made it here to the airport. I checked into my flight with a small amount of difficulty. I was there probably for about 20 minutes, which is pretty low, uh, considering what it would have been in other airports, only because the airport is completely empty. As you can see, there's no one around me. And they, I think for the first time, I think for the first time they encountered uh, I think it was the first time they ever encountered someone wanting to get the visa on arrival in Algeria. And especially as a British person, uh, they were definitely not used to that. They had to go through a lot of checks and uh, I had to provide them with the uh, visa on arrival pre-arrival form, which you'll get once you apply. So although technically it is a visa on arrival, you do have to apply 15 days before. So I've been waiting for this moment for so many years. I'm so grateful. There's visa on arrival system, finally, alhamdulillah. What they asked me for, they asked me for the pre-arrival code, they asked me for my return flight, and also my hotel that I'm checking into. So those are the things you need to know before you're going to Algeria. First stop is Cairo. The plane takes off at 4.30 a.m. here in Beirut. I land in Cairo around 8 a.m. and inshallah, I arrive to Algiers at around 12.30 p.m. must be switched off or set to flight mode. I've just made it here finally after four hours trying to get my visa in the immigration line. It was so long. It's now 6 p.m. I missed a full day in Algiers. I was meant to land at 12.30. There was a two hour delay. Alhamdulillah, I made it. The airport is beautiful. The sun is just going down. I'm heading into the city. I've got two hours before I now need to get another flight to Galatia in the south. So let's see how much we can see in two hours. Finally! How are you? Good to see you. How many hours? So you stay in there. Hi! How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, finally. finally. In Algeria. Alhamdulillah. Fine, we were waiting for this moment. Uh, yeah, so sorry, it took me four hours to get to immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't accept to be filmed, and some of them were not any problem. Okay, it's about here, everybody. Welcome here to beautiful Kafdaya. I made it here last night after a flight from Algiers. Alhamdulillah, I've arrived here and I'm starting the morning here at Kafdaya Market. I'm Asif Al Khair. Hello, good hey, morning, everybody. Uh, uh, I am with Jay here. Uh, it's a great day in Kafdaya, sunny day. Uh, we are in uh, Gardaya Market. You are welcome at any time. 
to take you care. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We just arrived here, as I said, to the market. I'm going to take a look around. This area is actually famous for its carpets and artisanal uh, designs and crafts. Uh, there's so much around me, so let's take a look around. This name is uh, Gumri. You can play or not? I am not a musician. Not a musician? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Well, look at where we just checked out. Souvenir market, all these vintage cameras. Karatai is very, very famous for its carpets. So you can see here, all of these beautiful crafts. These vintage things. This is a, a replica of the mosque which we'll see later, inshallah. So this is the fruit and vegetable market here inside the main market here in Gardaia. Majority of the things that you see here inside this market are actually freshly produced here inside Algeria. Apart from things like bananas that are sourced outside. Um, you have everything inside here from camel meats to goat meat, uh, cow meat as well. Around. It's currently a Saturday, so it's very, very, very busy in here, which is exactly what I love. I love seeing uh, people go about their daily lives here. <laughs> this store just inside here is selling camel meat. And you can see the cow and goat's heads. Just here. <laughs> uh, Algeria is known by uh, the date. We have more than 150 uh, dates variety. Uh, the famous one is Diglekor, as we saw it here. It's beautiful uh, and uh, very sweet date. Very sweet, right? And when you come to this market, you start at the top? I start uh, at, at the top, going down uh, to see the price and the quality of the vegetables. Yeah. And when I go back, I start to buy. It's, to not, buy. Uh, it's the system to, to do it. It's the system for buying things in the market. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, we just entered the herb market, all these dried chilies. This smells are oh, incredible. I love these kind of markets. All these flavors will make the incredible Algerian food. So we're walking through the market here, and as Omar was just explaining, this is one of the cups they use here to collect water. And inside is something called cad oil, and this basically uh, traps the water inside once it's dry, like this. And actually when you're drinking from this, it actually purifies the water from any kind of germs or bacteria. They have a method here for everything. Wow. This is like 200 years worth of history inside here. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. We have different carpet here. So each town have his have his own carpet. It depends of the the characters made in the carpet. This is from Benizgan. This is from Gardaia carpet. Ah. We can find some tool, some uh, use it in the quotidian of their life. Every district has it their own pattern. It, exactly. So this is for Gardaia. This is for Benizgan. There is another for uh, for Barayan and Grara. If each town they have their uh, specific uh, carpet. Nice. Yeah. The color uh, in the past we use natural color like this one it's an old carpet you can see the difference between the old one and the new one you see the colors it's, there is some yeah difference. the colors are a lot brighter exactly this is with natural herbs with natural colors uh, oh they made the from the herbs oh wow yeah. and this is from uh, synthetic colors the new uh, the new star and the material it was the some wire, cotton wire, and uh, the wool, pure wool. Which animal? It's sheep, sheep right? Yeah, sheep. Yeah. I probably sounded really stupid then, 
But there's so many places around the world that use um, not wool from sheep. Wow, beautiful. Yes. And Gotta is, is very famous for carpets. Famous for carpets, yeah. For uh, milk. Ah, uh, they put it in soy bar and hang it. Yeah, this is for milk, for chicken milk, chicken milk. The second city being in this region. What you will find in all of the towns here is uh, all of the houses built around the mosque, which is always in the center. You can see it in the other areas of town too. And uh, they do this, it really symbolizes the fact that they're all built in unity around the religion. And uh, you can find this also in the people. The people here are so kind and happy and so respectful towards other people. So this is the part I've really been excited to be seeing. This is Al Tuf. This is the UNESCO World Heritage Site built over a thousand years ago. By oh, you can see here. Yeah, UNESCO built in 1012, over a thousand years ago. This is the first city here in Karataya. Let's take a look. So, Jay, welcome to Am Ibrahim Mausoleum. It's a small mosque built in the 50th century. Uh, the famous architect uh, Corbizi was inspired by this mosque to uh, build the church in France. A uh, lot of architects come here to, to get uh, Inspiration. The inspiration about this uh, unique architecture uh, of Gardaia. Easy. Well, it's cold. Yeah, you can see the difference between outside and inside. Well, the view is amazing. So uh, during the day we don't need any uh, uh, we don't need any light. The, the building is lighted and aerated because we have many windows, so the light can enter from any side during all the day. You can see this is palm wood, right? The palm, yeah, palm wood. We use it for roofing. Yeah, so the palm wood for roofs, and then around the town it's it's made with um, it's, uh, mud, right? The, Sorry? the buildings are made from mud? From uh, lime, lime and sand and ah, lime stone. Sand. Ah. Yeah, lime, sand and stone. And inside the main town, they, um, they used to paint it white, but that was a lot of upkeep, like this. As you can see, it turns uh, red with the sand. So now they keep it natural. And um, throughout the main town and all across this area, they actually have to build it to the traditional standards. Um, to keep the entire town, I guess, unified in its uh, aesthetic. Reflect the sound. Ah. Is the minaret of this mosque. Yeah, so in this mosque, there's no minaret, so... This is the minaret of the mosque. The muezzin stand here and start to uh, speak up. And he uh, speaks out. And the mountain uh, reflect the sound to the town. Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen this. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> the locals here are amazing. Maharas? Maharas, yeah, it's a pillar. Yeah, so they, they put it inside Good of the pillar. table and it keeps it warmer, right? Yes. This wood spoon. Wow, it's good. Yeah, 
I think Algeria has the best chicken I ever had. Really? Yeah. <laughs> So this road behind me is Tefeland, and as you can see, beautiful historic design. And as I was saying earlier, it's actually part of the architecture, which you have to stick to. You always have to follow the historic and cultural aspects of the town. So the entire town looks uh, the same as what it used to a thousand years ago. You can see here, the entrance, beautiful traditional architecture with red sandstone and the white detailing. And as you can see here and all throughout the town, the windows and the doors are all different. So if you're actually facing each other, maybe I can go in and show you quickly. I just did a huge walk around, but I didn't take out my camera. So I will just quickly show you guys now. As you can see here, the doors are not uh, directly in front of each other. And as you can see, the windows are here, but there's none here. They do this on purpose for privacy. I also don't want to film too much because these are people's houses. But um, the doors are never directly across from each other and the same with the windows. This is probably a better example. Here, no windows. And this is purely for privacy so no one can see into each other's houses. And um, Although the communities are very tight knit, uh, they all pretty much know each other. Um, this is uh, definitely done for privacy. And even if they have balconies, they can only go to a certain level. So the next building across cannot see into the other balcony and things like this. It's all down to respect, especially uh, for families with um, young children. And um, I love just walking around here. It's so quiet and peaceful. People here in um, Karataya, they pretty much take a nap. They take a siesta from 1.30 until about 3.30. So it's still siesta time. So uh, many people are still sleeping, so the streets are very, very, very quiet. You have the vintage Algerian cars from, I think this is from 1974. <laughs> Definitely the 70s or 80s. Welcome everybody to Ben Isgum. As you can see, I just made it up to one of the watchtowers. And usually, as you can probably see from, this is a good example. As I was explaining earlier, the towns always start with the minaret and then they work down, down the valley with houses. And then it will be uh, the gate around the sides. This is one of the best panoramic views of the area. You can see Karadaya just in the distance there. And because this area of uh, Karadaya, just outside of Karadaya, is expanded so much, they've actually ended up building higher than the mosque, uh, which is pretty interesting to see. It is now sunset, and I've just hiked to a viewpoint which overlooks the whole of Karadaya. You can see it just behind me. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the watchtower I was just at, just over here. And look at this. Wow, wow, wow. This area of Algeria is so beautiful, so much history and culture. If you're interested in the life of the Berber people, then this is definitely the place you should come and check out. Maybe leave it until March uh, if you can, because it's very, very cold at this point. But if you don't like the heat, then this time of year will be perfect. Wow. This is just incredible. Many people think Algeria is an incredibly dangerous country and it's only my first day and I'm just blown away by the hospitality, the kindness and the warmth of the people. We've had so many incredible conversations off camera. Even when I arrived last night, so tired after flying three flights to get here. I was welcomed into a restaurant at around 11.30 p.m. by singing and laughing and dancing. They are just so welcoming. And it's only my first full day here in Algeria. I've got another nine days to explore the whole of the north of the country. And I feel very privileged to be here. The people here speak three languages here in Kardaya. They speak Arabic and Berber, the ancient Berber language and they also speak French. And the 
town is so historic. We're talking over a thousand years for some of the areas here. I absolutely love it. Tomorrow I'm actually driving to an area called Timimun, which is a bit further south and west. I think I'll probably include that in this video and we can explore it together. But for now, I will leave you, inshallah, with a time lapse and you can see the sun go down. That sunset was phenomenal. I'm now going to head back, eat some good Algerian food, inshallah. Good night, see you tomorrow. Leila Saida, and Shufek Khudua.